Hello everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about the upcoming third season of The Mandalorian, the recent trailer and whether season 3 will go on to be the best of the entire series. Now there might be spoilers throughout for all of the previous two seasons of the show as well as other series within the Star Wars franchise such as Obi-Wan Kenobi and The Book of Boba Fett and you can check out my coverage of those shows and I'll leave some links within the description. Now overall The Mandalorian still remains by some distance the best Star Wars series, whilst I wouldn't call it stellar Star Wars, it's very basic and simple in terms of storytelling, it's very episodic for the most part, but it is the most consistent and the most watchable out of the Disney Star Wars era so far. And as we left off at the end of season 2 with Baby Yoda or Grogu going away with Luke to train and Mando seemingly going to team up with Bo-Katan to reclaim Mandalore, Season 3 seemingly had great potential to break away from the formulaic approach of just having Mandor and Grogu go from planet to planet and really expand on the wider universe within Star Wars. Now that scope did take a backward step in the Book of Boba Fett in the Mandalorian centric episodes where instead of furthering his Jedi training, Grogu decides to travel back to Mando on his own which made absolutely no sense either and the status quo seemed unfortunately to be reinforced. So we then take a look at the trailer that was recently released and overall it does look like a mixture of what we had previously in terms of Mando and Grogu still having these single adventures and then halfway through the trailer it does suggest something more impactful, something more substantial as they venture into Mandalore. There's that line about something more dangerous emerging so hopefully we'll get greater context when the show arrives. We do have that shot of the Jedi collating together in what was very much a repeat of the flashback that Grogu had in the Book of Boba Fett episodes where he was training with Luke and Luke was getting him to unlock his memories of the Order 66 initiative. So this scene here seems to again recount memories of that encounter where we see the door being bursted open. We assume it will be somebody of the likes of Anakin who if you remember from Revenge of the Sith very much led forward to the destruction of the young Jedi Temple. We also had a very good shot of the Death Watch descending down on the Navarro city it seems and laying siege to it or taking occupation and these are the elements that I'm far more interested in. I do understand that Baby Yoda or Grogu is the selling point of the series but as I mentioned before they've really missed the boat in terms of the development of that character by not having him remain with Luke to further his training. Yes we do have further shots of him exhibiting more his abilities of the force but how far can they really take this narrative going forward? At some stage Grogu will have to grow up and start talking and start developing further physically. So for me I'm far more interested in what's going on with the likes of bo and Moff Gideon and the Darksaber and the rule of Mandalore. That's really what's more compelling to me in terms of this overall story. Now as usual with this trailer the visuals and effects and action are all spot on to a high standard as what we'd expect with this series. But I just hope we get far more of a serialised dramatic story arc going forward to help evolve the show. Now if you didn't know season 4 is already being developed, maintaining Disney and Lucasfilm's confidence in the series and again underlining the fact that The Mandalorian is without question the most successful Star Wars series so far and to be honest I could probably see it staying that way for the near future. Maybe Ahsoka might pull up some surprises and turn out to be an even greater show but other than that what we've seen so far in terms of Obi-Wan Kenobi, The Book of Boba Fett and Andor I'm really not enthusiastic as such as to whether we will get a truly great Star Wars show to match the level as what we've seen with The Mandalorian so far. So will the third season go on to be the best of the entire series? It certainly looks that way as long as they develop a substantial amount of focus on the Mandalore then I do think it will end up being far more compelling and far more watchable overall but we will wait and see how it plays out when the series releases on March the 1st this year and as usual when I cover these shows you will expect to see both a premiere review and also a finale review and also an overall season review of the show when it arrives for its third season so look out for that on the channel and as I mentioned before you can check out previous coverage of Star Wars content and I will leave some links so you can check that out at a later date. So this is my overall thoughts and feelings and review of the recent Mandalorian season 3 trailer and asking the question as to whether it will overall be the best season of the series so far. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any other suggestions regarding televisions or movies or any other issues within the entertainment industry that you'd love to see me cover, then also drop a suggestion within the comments and I will see if I can provide further coverage for you on that content in the future. Please also hit and like those subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very very soon.